Reserve Bank Governor Lesetja Khanyako says an independent Reserve Bank is critical to fulfilling the institution's mandate of protecting the value of the country's currency. Khanyako delivered the keynote address at a public lecture at the University of Stellenbosch. Khanyako says changing ownership of the central bank will not change its constitutionally enshrined mandate. He says despite having private shareholders, the Reserve Bank is not privately owned and 90% of its profits go to government. Central banks need to explain what they are doing and how they are doing it to the public. And they also need to be held accountable for their efforts. Independence is the flip side of accountability. A central bank cannot be easily held to account if private or political actors have the ability to sway the bank's decisions. Khaniyaho says inflation targeting is a good expression of the central bank's mandate to support balanced and sustainable growth. The poor and those living off fixed nominal incomes, pensioners in particular, are more vulnerable. It is for these groups, above all others, for which low inflation is both morally and economically right. At the end of the day, central bank independence allows the bank to hear what different interest groups have to say, but gives the bank the policy space to make decisions about inflation that on balance benefit all. The Reserve Bank governor says while South Africa has achieved historically low rates of inflation, resulting in lower interest rates, the aim is to improve on its track record for economic growth and well-being of South African society. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.